After cycling across Belgium, the Netherlands, and northern Germany, we took a ferry to the island of Lolland in Denmark. We worked our way to Copenhagen and then took a ferry across the Kattegat Sea to Sweden. We cycled up the Swedish coast to Stromstad, where we took yet another ferry to Norway. Northern Europe continued to impress us with its cycling routes and infrastructure, and we were especially in awe of the network of free shelters and campsites in Scandinavia. It was inspiring to visit countries that had invested so many resources into supporting slow travelers and budget tourists, and cycling through these countries was very peaceful and low stress. These ducks seem really stoked on the rain. They're like taking a bath in it. It's pretty adorable. So we've seen quite a lot more cycle tourists in this area of Denmark than where we were in Germany, which is always nice. And these bike routes have been great so far. Pretty low traffic, nice bike paths and a very hot day it's like 90 degrees but yeah still nice nice riding Had some really crazy rain and thunderstorms today and now we're gonna look for a wild camp and hope we find one before it starts raining again. I feel personally attacked by these slugs. Having some dinner with a nice harbor view. We got some 35 cent pilsners <laughs> that are actually not too bad. We're headed into Copenhagen. We've got some really nice bike routes that uh, head into the city. We're only about 50 miles out. So Denmark not only has a really well-developed network of bike paths, they also have a ton of shelters set up for cycle tourists to use. We obviously like to wild camp a lot, so we haven't really used them mostly, but we're trying to use them more because uh, we feel somewhat obligated to use them if the country has made the effort to provide some sort of accommodation. Uh, we used it last night. It was a tent site that had maybe eight other cycle tourists at it. It's a really nice spot though. So here in Denmark there's a series of trolls that are found in strange places. This one is, I guess, under a bridge. He's like holding onto the bridge, holding the bridge up. Not really sure. 
It's a troll under a bridge. That's where they live. Oh, he's collecting tolls. We're out of Copenhagen now, riding through this neat forest. Some sort of former forest of the royalty, so there's some really old trees in here, which is nice to see. Tried to do some shopping to replace the shirt, but couldn't find anything that was reasonably affordable or what I wanted. I really like this shirt. I've worn it for a long time, but I think I'm starting to get judged by how crappy it is now. I think it's time to uh, replace it. It's been 15 months. One shirt every day, 15 months. I got a good life out of it. I may try and sew it, but it's very uh, sun damaged now, so it kind of just rips really easily. But it's been a good shirt. We've been using this shelter app to find campsites and shelters around Denmark, and it's been really awesome. They're all over the place, so um, there are a lot of options, and yeah, we've got a fire pit and a nice place to sleep for the night. We're riding the last few miles of our route in Denmark. We can see uh, Sweden across the Baltic Sea, whatever this is. just took the ferry from Denmark to Sweden and we're gonna ride up the coast towards Norway. We got into Sweden yesterday and since then we've been riding excellent bike paths which is pretty much the norm for Northern Europe it seems like. Uh, definitely a little more forested than any of the other countries we've been in recently. It's nice to be riding through trees again. It takes a bit of stress off when you know it's not going to be as hard to find a place to sleep. Sweden has gotten a tiny bit hillier. We've done some of the first climbs in like three weeks and 800 miles or so. So that's been pretty exciting, getting a good leg workout. We were riding through this square and saw water marked on the map and came across this thing here and thought it was just a statue, but it's actually a really cool water fountain.
night three in Sweden, leaving our little wild camp. Kind of a little bit close to a road, but nobody saw us, and uh, we were able to cook dinner and hang out and have a nice little quiet, peaceful spot. Headed into Gothenburg today. Gothenburg. Gothenburg. Headed into Gothenburg. After 22,000 kilometers, it's finally time to replace the tires. We were able to get three tires from one bike shop. And there's another bike shop five miles away that has the fourth tire. But we don't have time to change them before the bike shop closes. So we're riding five miles with the tires around our shoulder like this. Because they're wire beat tires and they're not folding. So fingers crossed at the end of the day we'll have four brand new tires ready to do another 20,000 kilometers. We've got a little over 22,000 kilometers, 12,000, 13,000 miles on these Mondials. Same tires we've had the whole trip. Uh, they've done really well for us, but we're finally swapping them out. We got some GT365s, which are kind of not our first choice, but it's been really tough to find any tires, so we're settling with those. Jenny's are a little less worn. She's not quite as heavy as me but uh, still probably better to do them now than waiting. We're headed to Asia and it's gonna be really tough to find any tires. They really go all out with the uh, cycling infrastructure in Sweden. We've got our own separated bike path that's like just fantastic quality of asphalt and everything. for a short little ferry to cross over to this island. We're riding the last 15 miles to the ferry that's going to take us to Norway. We've had a good uh, ride through Sweden. Easy wild camping, which is a big, big plus for us. This is our longest stretch of wild camping. I think we're on day 30 or so. Uh, we've been able to keep everything charged and uh, take a few showers with our water bags. So we've managed to make it work. Uh, we don't normally go quite this long, but we're trying to make up for all the money we spent on bike maintenance and the flight to Asia. Combine that with the fact that hotels here are extravagantly expensive. 